Now, in this lesson, we are going to learn about electro refining. What is electro refining? Cleaning. Cleaning or purification of copper. The copper that is coming from the mines may not be very pure. So, this is the impure copper. What do you mean by impure copper? It has, I mean, we are not looking at the rocks and other particles because it's already cleaned. It has come with that, but it has got other metals along with that. Along with copper, you may have iron, zinc, gold, platinum, silver in small quantities. It may be rich in copper. That's why we have mined that for copper. The majority of them are copper, but not which has got other elements in small quantities. But Telcom and Escom needs pure copper for their cables. So in that case, what we have to do is get the pure copper to supply to them. How to purify that? So it has got other elements like iron, zinc, platinum, gold and silver. I want you to look at your redox table. Take your redox table and find the position of iron and zinc compared to copper. And also look at the position of silver, gold and platinum compared to copper. Iron and zinc are strong reducing agents. Normally strong reducing agents, what do they do? They undergo oxidation readily or they can ionize and form ions by giving electrons. So the elements present here, zinc 2 plus and iron 2 plus, they undergo ionization and they become ions and they go into the solution. This is a solution which is made up of copper sulfate. The electrolyte here is copper sulfate. So it has got copper 2 plus ions and sulfate ions. Then similarly the copper will also undergo oxidation. What will the copper do? It will undergo oxidation and the reaction that takes place at anode is copper gives copper 2 plus plus 2 electrons. It becomes copper 2 plus. But that could be the very weak reducing agents or and what are they? Those metals present. They cannot undergo oxidation because they are weak reducing agents. So what will they do? They will come out from that one and remain as slag. And this lag is expensive because it has got expensive metals which can be sold and it can it can have an economical value. So we should not throw this. It's like a, at the bottom you can see, see something like a thick black liquid. You mustn't throw that away. You must collect it and you must give it to the, some other people to separate into respective elements so that it can be sold. So what happens at cathode? All the pure copper that came from the impure work they undergo reduction, they undergo reduction and they form copper and they form copper. Here the rate of oxidation of copper at anode is the same as the rate of reduction at copper, copper 2 plus at cathode. So the concentration of the electrolyte do not change. Concentration of the electrolyte remains constant. So this is how we get the pure copper from remains constant because the rate of oxidation, whatever, when, when the ions come from anode to the electrolyte, once if it has come to the electrolyte, there is no difference between the ions that come from this one and the ions that are present here. So it doesn't matter, the, as the more ions come, the more ions will move to that. So the rate at which the copper 2 plus comes to the electrolyte is the same as the rate at which it goes to the cathode. So the concentration of the electrolyte here also remains constant. This is how the copper is purified and we collected at the cathode. This is the cathode where it is collected. Thank you.